See, you know, they turn the lights on at the stadium, all of a sudden the fog goes away, right? It's amazing. That's I mean, not what did not it. No, that's not what, <laughs> it's not what did it. It fog is starting, it's starting to lift, but look at this. I mean, you're right, Rick. They turn the lights on because earlier the shot that we had was just of the, the north side, uh, north shore walkway there. You couldn't see anything. And you really couldn't see anything except a couple of lights. The lights were on earlier this morning. You couldn't see anything. When I came in this morning, the stadium, the lights were on. You just couldn't Are see Are you anything. kidding yeah, me? Those same lights wow. were on. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Well, that shows you how thick the fog was, folks. Now it has lifted. We do have showers moving into the, from the west, and that will help to dissipate the fog. But, man, it really is a sea change from what we saw earlier when literally all you could see was the lights along the North Shore walkway and the reflection in the water of the Allegheny River. Man, that's a beautiful shot there, isn't it? PNC Park looking good, and the Bucks got a win last night over there, too. 67 degrees right now with a mostly cloudy sky. Humidity 97%. Winds out of the north at 8 miles an hour. Pressure is just under 30 inches of mercury, and the dew point is almost at the full mark at 66 degrees. Temperatures around the region all in the 60s, no exceptions. Somerset, you're close to the upper 50s at 61. 62 in Waynesburg, those are the cool spots along with Catanning at 62 degrees. But Pittsburgh's at 67. That's amazing because again, the average low now this time of year runs in the low 50s. Yeah, we're just outside of the 40s for overnight lows. Think about it. Once that happens, I always start to think, okay, fall is definitely here. And before we know it, we'll be, well, you never mind. We'll talk about that when we get to the winter season. Here we are with a look at temperatures today, looking much more like August than September with starting out in the mid 60s, going into the upper 70s and low 80s for highs today, and then tailing off back into the low 60s overnight tonight. And I think we'll eventually cool back down into the 50s and 70s for highs and lows, but not for the next couple of days. Spotty showers working their way into the area right now. This line will die out pretty quickly as soon as it moves across the state line. But nevertheless, it's still packing a punch over in parts of east central Ohio, approaching the panhandle of West Virginia right now. As you can see, just coming through New Philly and on their way toward Wheeling and Weirton and eventually into the Pittsburgh area. Now, these showers will break up this morning. I don't think they'll be with us past 8 o'clock, 8.30 or 9 at the latest. And then things will dry out and clear out, and we'll have a beautiful afternoon and a great-looking night coming up, too. Tomorrow, a few more clouds move back in early morning, but they shouldn't be producing anything in the way of precipitation. But it could be another foggy start, so be prepared for that. Partly cloudy and warm today after the morning showers get out of here, 80 degrees, and then we'll go back down into the low 60s overnight tonight. Once again, patchy fog is possible with those partly to mostly fair skies. 82 tomorrow, 82 on Friday, a late day shower that day with a front coming in, and that front brings a big change with temperatures back into much more seasonable levels, low 70s, low to mid for highs, and back in the 50s by Sunday for lows.